Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. My name is Alex and in this video I will be teaching you how to tie an alpine butterfly knot. Let's go! The alpine butterfly knot is a midline knot. It's the one knot we use to isolate a damaged piece of rope or if we need to make a basic Y hang or a Y rigging to distribute the load on multiple anchor points. We could use it to offset a rigging a little bit, but it's the one knot we use if we need a loop in the middle of a rope. How do you tie it? Like in the video before, there are multiple different ways to teach it. So let's start with this method. You take the rope, you wrap it around your hand once, you wrap it around your hand twice, and you go underneath, you pick the middle rope, you pull that through and you push it underneath the two that are left. After that you dress the knot and you set the knot. And here we have a beautiful alpine butterfly. So let's do that again so you don't have to rewind it. Rewind it. You go over your hand, you make a loop. You do that one more time, then you start on the finger end, take the middle one underneath and this will be the bite of the knot. All right? And then you push this bite through the remaining two strands on your hand, All right? like so. After that you dress the knot and you set it. And then we have a midline knot, oh, the alpine butterfly. How to recognize a properly tied butterfly knot? On one side we have two strands parallel to each other and on the other side we have the ropes crossing each other. That way you can tell it's a properly tied alpine butterfly. To compare I have this knot, which looks like an alpine butterfly, but it actually is not. And the way you can tell, like I said, on one side you need to have two ropes running parallel. So I have the one, two here, I have one, two here, and on the other side I need to have a cross. So they're crossing here. But this one is not crossing. So what can happen is actually when you're not using the knot, this could actually slip off or open. Okay, so let's get rid of this crap knot and focus on this one. For this one that can't happen because it's hooked underneath here and if this one wants to go up it's underneath here. Sometimes when you tie the knot or if you use a different method the cross ends up on the back, like so. So now I have to cross here instead of on the front. Where the cross is doesn't matter. It matters that there is a cross. Now let's say I have a piece of damage here. I wrap the rope around my hands three times. I take the middle one. Take care that I get the damaged part of the rope in my hand and then I pass it through towards my fingers underneath the two strands. I dress the rope. And I have the damage isolated in the knot. Now if I need to adjust it a little bit, so maybe I need to go up, I just push this down, I push it through, and I just follow that through the knot until my damage is in the isolated part. Or maybe I need to re-anchor my rope a little bit to this side so I have a straight drop down to the, my work site. If I would compare this if a, and tie a figure of eight knot, because that's the knot we learned in the video before this, and I would load it like a midline knot, you can see what's actually happening. That's not the proper way of loading a knot. 
if I take my Alpine Butterfly and I load it like this, everything is still nice and straight. Or if I would load it like this, it's, everything is still nice and straight. This beautiful piece of rope is provided by Industrial Klimme, the sponsor of this video. Industrial Klimme is a training center situated in the Netherlands right above Amsterdam. They provide all kinds of different safety trainings related to working at height. You can come here for your GWO training if you want to work on the wind turbines or you can come here for your Arata training if you want to do suspended work on ropes. If you need a custom training for your company speci specifically made or tailored towards your needs, that's also possible. I put the link down in the description so you can contact them if you have any questions. There's also a web shop and a physical shop available where you can come and try out all the different kinds of equipment you can think of. They provide me with the opportunity to film here and to use their complete facility to show you all the different skills you need to become a rope access technician. If you like this video, Please leave a like and a comment in the comment section. Subscribe so you don't miss a new one. And I will see you in the next time.